What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how do you seal your mask or your full face mask to your face when you got a bunch of fuzz on it like I do. Now this time of the year, I typically grow out my beard either for the winter months or just simply put for deer season. And it does cause problems for me as far as sealing my mask to my face or even my full face mask. But there are some tips and tricks that you can do if you got that facial fuzz that'll help you out in getting a good tight seal. Now the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we have a proper fitting mask. So just even if you didn't have facial hair, you wanna size the mask appropriately for you meaning you want to make sure you get a good tight seal and just like in open water we don't even use the the strap to do this basically we're just going to seal it to our face we're going to inhale a little bit look around we're going to listen for wind or air to escape the mask as you're inhaling through your nose and that's really going to determine whether or not you got a good fitting mask kind of the same thing goes with a full face mask which we'll get to here shortly but once you got a good proper fitting mask then the, what you want to look at is your actual facial features. If you look at mine close here, you'll notice that I've actually shaved part of my beard down here on the sides just so that I get a good seal uh, with the skirt. Now, if you don't want to shave yours down, then there's other techniques that you can do as well. Another great option is a hood. When you put a hood on, the way it's designed to work is your skirt actually fits up underneath the hood just like that all the way around so if you've got that facial fuzz up here on the side all you've got to do is put your mask on after you got your hood on of course and then pull the seal of the hood up over the skirt itself and that will help seal it as well now moving on down to the mustache area there's several things you can do now fortunately enough for me i've actually got enough play between the top of my mustache here and the bottom of my mask skirt. So I always get a good proper seal there and I don't really have issues. But if your mustache is a lot thicker than mine or you don't have a play there, what you could do is actually shave down the top of the mustache just a little bit, just enough so that the bottom part of this skirt right here can seal. And it's not very much. It's only about a quarter of an inch. So if you can shave down just a little bit there, another great option that I've used in the past, of course, is chapstick. I just use this Blistex brand here. And all I do is just simply wipe a little bit of it on my mustache. It works kind of like beeswax does. And beeswax work, will work as well. So you just kind of rub that on. And what that does is create a good seal once your skirt is on there. So these are some great options for the traditional mask. Let's take a look at the full face mask. With the full face mask, of course, you're going to have a seal that goes all the way around. And so you're going to have a wide enough coverage here. I'm not, not sure if you can see it on camera, but you're going to have a wide enough coverage here to actually get a proper seal. And so even if this is not completely flat, as long as part of it's flat around your cheek area, you're going to have a good seal. The biggest issue I find with a full face mask and facial hair is this bottom part right here. So this bottom part of this seal actually comes up to about halfway down the center of my beard underneath my chin here. And I don't really get that good of a seal with the full face mask and a beard. And so I have to rely on other methods. The other method that I use, of course, is I use a hood. Now, typically speaking, with a hood and full face mask, I'm going to use a full face mask hood. And if you've never seen one, essentially what it is, it's just a generic hood that has this glide skin or seal skin material on it so that the full face mask will seal to it. And that's a great option as well because the hood will hide my beard and then the full face mask will actually seal to it. Now, if you don't have a full face mask hood, let's say you got a generic hood or a standard hood here, you can still do the same principle that you do with a traditional mask. Basically, you put your hood on, you put your full face mask on, on top of it, and then you're going to actually pull out on the seal itself to seal over the top of the full face mask seal and that will give you a proper seal. Now you may still have just a little bit of leakage here, but depending on your body's profile and your head profile in the water, you're not actually gonna be taken on water because the mask, even though it's not a positive pressure mask, it kind of acts that way when the seal is broke at the bottom, so it's actually going to keep that water flowing out. Now, there's one final way to get a good proper seal, and this way, of course, a lot of people may not prefer, and of course, that is to simply shave. Now, guys, trust me, I didn't want to shave. My wife definitely didn't want me to shave. Uh, she asked me to leave this. She told me if I didn't at least keep the goatee that she would divorce me, and I didn't really want to lose my wife. But 
you know, sometimes we got to make that compromise. If you're going to be a diver, if you want to have a comfortable dive, you may have to compromise. Whether you shave down the top of your mustache, whether you shave down the side of your beard, or whether you just shave it all off. Making sure that your mask fits properly and it's comfortable when you're wearing it is going to make all the difference between you diving safely and you just kind of winging it. Now, I will state this. Even though I don't have that big of an issue at the mustache area, you know, personally with my mask, I still have a little bit of leakage come in because I do keep the mustache and goatee. And so the way I get around that is, is I just deal with it when I'm underwater. I get comfortable with that little bit of water being in uh, the nose piece of the, or the nose pocket here of the mask. And I actually utilize that water. If my mask starts to fog up, all I've got to do is just simply tilt my head down, swish the, the water around to get rid of the fog, and then look back up. So I can utilize what little bit of water is inside that mask, and it doesn't really bother me. Of course, I do have 30 years experience diving, so that plays a big role into it. If you're new to diving, I would suggest going ahead and making that compromise, shaving it off until you get comfortable, or if you're gonna keep the, the beard and the full on mustache or whatnot, maybe shave it down a little bit, or put your mask on, kind of mark it with some shaving cream, and then shave down to that line. That way you can compromise. You don't have to completely get rid of all your uh, facial hair or whatnot, but you can still have a a good proper fitting mask as well. So guys, a couple pointers real quick. Make sure you have a proper fitting mask. Make sure you have plenty of coverage. Uh, the mask skirt to the um, skin itself. If you can't get enough coverage and you don't want to uh, shave that facial hair off, maybe use a hood and always seal the hood over the top of the mask skirt. That'll help hold it in, creating a better seal. Use some chapstick or some type of beeswax or something like that. That'll work as well. And then, of course, as a last-ditch effort, if you need to, guys, simply shave it off. It can always grow back, especially in the wintertime. If you're not going to be doing a lot of cold water diving and you're only diving in the spring and summer months, you know, shave it off in the spring, summer months. It's not as hot anyways, and then grow it back for the winter time. But guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it helps you out. Uh, and I just want to let you know, the struggle is real, guys. Even my mask floods from time to time because of facial hair, and it's okay. It happens to a lot of us. It's how we deal with it. It's what's going to define us as a diver, and it's going to determine whether we're comfortable or not. You know, we may have to make that sacrifice or that compromise just to make sure that our mask seals properly. But guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, do me two favors. Definitely smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. If you got any questions, please put them down in the comment section below. And as a matter of fact, let me know what you guys do as far as sealing your mask to your face when you have facial hair, because I like to learn from you guys as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.